Quite a useful tool, quite way to go from the rabbit hole, quite a bit too much noise. Quite the hole with the net. Some people will put the turn the net in at the bottom, they call it like a doormat setting, I don't bother with that personally. So I usually push the bottom ring into the ground, just to give it a bit of extra purchase. Push your pegs in good and firm, I always angle them back away from the hole. That means when the rabbit hits the net, hopefully, He's actually going to drag the peg harder into the grain. Don't put them in like that, because if they're in soft, soft sandy grain, the rabbit just pulls on it. And also, I must mention quickly, it's very important the pegs go in good and firm. If you bolt, if you know anything about rabbiting, rabbits aren't in the bag till they're in the bag, and they'll pop out here, there, and everywhere, and you'll, you'll they'll shoot out of a hole you've missed and try to get back down one that you've, you've netted. Back netted rabbits, if you haven't got that peg in properly. You will lose your rabbit, the net, all of it. If there's any slack in this, if there's any slack in that, wrap it round right there. As soon as the rabbit gets his nose on the net, it will start perking. The cat will help put an extra couple of rabbits in the bag. Right, before you all die of boredom, let's get a ferret out again and see if we can bolt a rabbit. So you take your jill, the little dog's marked the worm, she's told you there's rabbits in there. Every ferret loves his dog. You'll see a lot of lamping dogs for sale. You won't, I promise you, you won't see, see too many ferreting dogs for sale. Not good ones. It won't happen. Dog tells you there's rabbits in there. People will say that they know that there's rabbits in there, but I promise you, there's only one creature that can tell you without a shadow of a doubt that there's a rabbit in there, and that is a dog with a good nose. So, where are you said to be? Come on, Tim. There's rabbits in here. Come on, Dad. Let's get going. I'm getting bored of this history lesson there. Let's catch some rabbits. So, let your ferret go in. Let it enter quietly. Don't push her in. If you've got young kids, young kids from this year, don't expect too much of them the first couple of outings. Let them creep into the mouth of the hole. Don't put them in and put your foot over the hole. A rabbit has told me once he did that, only to take his foot off. We get a very badly stung ferret. There was a wasp nest in there. So if your jill won't go in the hole, try in another hole. If you still won't go in there, try another ferret. Or move on. But be aware, there's things other than rabbits in rabbit holes. So, you put your, enter your jill, let it go in quietly, the dog's marking. We're in, we're in a little hedgerow situation, it's shallow, shallow one. You know, there's don't be a couple of rabbits in there. We'll put her in. She'll go in quietly. Let her just creep, creep away in there. The dog, dog's marking. She's listening to that ferret. She knows there's a rabbit in there. You're waiting. You're in a bit of a front. The pump. Something's going on. What's happening, Mary? Is she found the rabbit in there? Hopefully, she found that rabbit. She can hear it. We got one. Right. You've got to cover the mouth of the hole. I'm clinical ferret here. I'm not just all, I'm a bit, a gently now, really. I should have another net in my pocket, which I've forgotten. This is the second time I've done this. Cover the mouth of the hole with your, with your boot. Don't tip on your ferret. Sometimes you'll get a second rabbit bolt. Deal with your rabbit very quickly in the net. If you've got another ferret with you, another mate, he can deal with this while you're dealing with that. Stretch your rabbit, shim them, or if you're not confident, use a priest and give them a sharp tap behind the ears. Gently now, no, gently. Gently. Good job. Let the jill come out of her own, her own time. They, 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 young ferrets can get startled and, and frightened. If the dog runs in, don't let your dog run in and frighten your rabbit. Uh, your, your ferret, sorry. So, we've got one in the bag. The next thing is, I'm running out of time here, so I'm going to have to wrap it up. Okay, so, <laughs> great, I'm going to wrap it up now. Um, if there's any keen ferreters, or any young lads that want to talk about ferreting, Come and see me, I'm just here, only literally just there in the Country Alliance tent. And you know, if I give you a few little tips, there's some great DVDs out there you can watch on rainy wet days when it's not good ferreting weather. Although we've all been ferreting on rainy wet days, but you, you get on with it. So, I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, that's my little insight into ferreting, this is what I do. 
Don't always catch rabbits, but I do most of the time. Bird standard, uh, you're very knowledgeable and knowledgeable chap, so have a chat with him if ferreting is your thing. But in this arena coming in just a few moments, we've got the gaze hounds. Yeah.